welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can remove plagiarism or ai similarity index in our assignments research articles review papers thesis or other research related projects so in this video i will also discuss what is the allowed limit of plagiarism when we submit our research article to the journals so without further ado let's dive in so as here you can see i have asked one question from chat gpt and you can see the question was what is the role of phytomelatonin it has generated a response that phytomelatonin is the plant form of melatonin i mean and you can see now it has just listed its roles in the plants by just dividing into different headings in the next tab i have just copy and pasted this text into a free plagiarism checker although most of the journal use turn it in or authenticate to check the plagiarism but most of uh, these free plagiarism websites are also okay so as here you can see i have just copy pasted this text and you can see it is showing that we are highly confident that this text was generated through AI. So even I have used another website, uh, which you can see the paper owl and paper owls data shows that this text is 61% similar and only 38.2% original. So even you can see now it has given different resources from where this text was copied and extracted through the chat gpt so first we need to understand why this plagiarism is produced so actually whenever this text is produced by chat gpt so the algorithm which was used by chat gpt has the same text which is already available somewhere online so i mean when there is similarity between the online content and the chat gpt algorithm so that is why this this text is plagiarized or this flow is overall detected under the ai content so and here the good news is this ai is advancing so fast and the chat gpt has launched itself a tool not only to detect ai or the plagiarism content but also has given one option to paraphrase that content so how you can access to that plagiarism detector so as here you can see this is chat gpt and we can go to this tab to go and we here we can search plagiarism checker so as here you can see i have already searched so it is now giving me option so we can just simply write plagiarism checker so here is plagiarism checker so we can simply go and start chat so we can just copy that text let's suppose in this example we can copy only first two lines and we can go and paste into this we can paste into this plagiarism checker launched by chat gpt itself so we can simply paste this so as here we will just click and upload so now it will start to analyze this text so you can see it is showing the plagiarism check result so even it can check your data sentence by sentence so you can see this its assessment shows that this sentence is very close to how phytomelatonin is usually described in the academic article so it looks overlapping and even you can see the overall risk of plagiarism is high so even it has given a suggestion that how we can avoid the plagiarism and you can see even we have one option would you like to rephrase the entire passage into the plagiarism safe version while keeping all the scientific accuracy yes we can simply write yes please rephrase this whole text So you can see now the whole text is available we can go back and copy this text and check so we can simply copy this text again and check if it is still under the 
high percentage of plagiarism we can simply paste it here and we can fill the captcha and check if the percentage of plagiarism is significantly reduced so you can see now the similarity index is overall so here you can see now the similarity index is only 29 percent and originality is 70 percent so now we will discuss what is the allowed limit of plagiarism or similarity index in most of the journal so most of the journals allowed 19 to 21 percent similarity index are the plagiarism but your text should not be the ai overlap i mean the overall the ai similarity index should be zero so as long as you have written your own paragraph and you are just copying and pasting into chat gpt and just improving its sentence structure or just polishing its english language that will not come under the heading of ai detection or the plagiarism so it means most of the journal allow the chat gpt to use for english improvement language and even most of the journals say this that you don't need to mention if you have only used chat gpt or any other ai tool to improve the uh, to improve or polish the english language of your manuscript so no need to mention this statement so hopefully this tool and this video will be helpful for your future research article if you have any question please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye